What's up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. I'm out here with Phil from Yamaha. We just onboarded the brand. Gene from Audioholics told us we had to check out Yamaha. And today, we're going to be looking at their flagship two-channel all-in-one. This is the... RN2000. RN2000. Look at this, guys. Classic hi-fi look with all the bells and whistles of today's modern-day technology. So... Phil, I, I learned a little bit in the introduction about this product, but give our viewers a run through of this flagship model as well as the unit right below it, please. Sure. Um, this is uh, born from our flagship products, you know, from five years ago, and it takes a lot of the trickle down technologies that went into our integrated amplifiers um, uh, three years ago. And now they're into a receiver because some people like the convenience of a one box does it all type of thing. Yeah. So it has the audiophile grade amplifiers with floating and balanced uh, structure, toroid transformer, huge capacitors. You know, nice. it's, it's just a beast. Very and of nice. course, you got meters. So those are pretty badass. You know, that's. Um, but we added enough stuff. It's got an FM tuner, so that makes it a receiver. It has a streamer, so and it has all your streaming services are built in. If you want AirPlay to it or um, Spotify remote, you want to do any of that stuff, that's done. Uh, it's part of Yamaha's MusicCast multi-room audio system. So if you have other Yamaha products, you can share music from this to them or vice yeah, versa. Yeah, like Sonos Whole House Audio, but better quality, guys. Think of it like that, a Whole House Audio platform. That's... Yeah, we have soundbar stereo receivers. You know, oh, and all that integrates. Oh, yeah, it's, it's all Oh, integrated. so it's yeah. kind of like Den & Heos more than uh, Sonos because you guys have the AVRs. Well, yeah. that's amazing. I'm looking forward to playing around with that in the future. So um, it does have an HDMI input. That was something that caught people off guard when we first launched this. HDMI, who watches TV with a stereo receiver? Well, it's guess a what? lot more common these days it, than it, you it, would think. It is, but also a lot of people, that's their main streaming box. You know, they got a, a Roku or they got an Apple TV or something like that. That's their streaming for all their TV, but that's where all their audio apps are on that same streaming box. And now we can uh, arc it back down. Yeah, out in, of the TV, into in the here. receiver. Now you got high quality uh, streaming coming into it from, now, from we've, one spot. We've been talking a lot about soundbar replacements, kind of the yeah. next level of your audio journey. Yeah. Um, so it's it's amazing to see that built in. Is that built into the ARC? Um, is that built into the lower yeah, so model drop, as well? Yeah, when you drop down to the... <clears throat> I see it's rune tested as well, guys. Yes. Yeah. When you drop down to the RN1000, uh, it goes to more of a standard amplifier configuration. Not that uh, floating and balanced amp, but a standard AB amplifier, which we've been doing for a lot of years. You lose the cool meter. That's the bummer part of the whole thing. <laughs> but hey, you keep all the functionality. So basically, it has all the same features uh, that we had up here, but we take a, a down step. It's not audiophile, it's hi fi. Does it have Great. the toroidal uh, transformer? No, and then it has a standard, it has an e core transformer, so the whole thing drops down. Now, one thing I didn't mention is it comes with a Yamaha YPOW microphone. That's Yamaha's auto calibration system that we came up with 20 some years ago, mainly for uh, surround receivers. You have to have some type of calibration if you have seven, eight, nine, 11 speakers yeah. in your house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is your direct live. No, nah, it's not like that. It's it's a lot simpler than that. For two channel, actually, you don't see correction on two channel very often. No, built in, and the the, the reason is, is two channel. It's not our problem. Your room is screwed up. It's your <laughs> problem that you haven't have don't have the right treatment. You know that's always kind of been the mantra. It's not. There's no bad products. It's just bad rooms that we're putting products in. <laughs> yeah. But in reality, not very many of us are lucky enough to have a two channel dedicated listening room that's been room treated and everything else. So what we did is we took our, our YPOW and we made a YPOW Hi-Fi is what we call it. So it's kind of a watered down, not watered down, but a simplified version of our, of our um, YPOW calibration. And mainly it's there for uh, early reflections. So if I have a bookcase that's too close to my right speaker, this will, rec this will recognize the first reflection 
and then it will reduce that. So it'll go, hey, there's something wrong with that rough speaker over there. It's too close to something. So it can reverse and, and clean that up. So you get a much cleaner, tighter base. So it's a practical thing. Yeah, absolutely. That, uh, that, That's uh, awesome. Works. And it works really well. It, it actually in this room it doesn't work very well because this room is actually set up you pretty, didn't need pre it. is pretty decent. You can hear a very micro difference, but it, it's not a day and night demonstration for it. And so, and that's in both models as well. Awesome. Well, anything else you want to add in? No. And then we can keep going down the line. Then we have uh, the RN six hundred, which is the model below that. Okay. That we have out there. So and then we start pulling some of the features back. I see. So, yeah, then you don't uh, get the USB. And we'll, we'll take a deep dive into those down the line, guys. We're going to get some of these in for review. And of course, we'll be doing customer setup videos and things like that. But I just wanted to give a quick introduction to a couple of the uh, top models um, here in the Hi Fi lineup. Yeah. Really appreciate your time today, yeah, Phil. No Thanks for giving our audience a run through. If you guys like this video, drop comments down below. Let us know how we did. Give, give Phil some motivation. <laughs> so, give us a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater, out here with Bill from Yamaha. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.